Okay, so here I'm doing the video for a third time. I, my recorder keeps on conking out on me, so I'm just going to do this again. So as you can see, <laughs> I've, I've done a few samples here. Um, the, the point of this video is to use uh, what's called an eradicator brush. Um, Billy Shawl, she sells a brush specifically that she calls an eradicator, and it's a, a finer point brush. Um, the trick to them is that the bristles are, are stiff. Uh, are stiffer than you would find um, uh, typically other other brushes to be. Um, you could use, um, you know, your your finer point, but I find like this is very sort of floppy, whereas this has some resistance to it. So that's kind of the point. Um, I use this one. It is a Robert Simmons SN60 flat shader. Um, uh, I initially bought this for another purpose, but I started using it as an eradicator and I think it's uh, it works quite well and it's a little cheap and cheerful brush. So the trick to it is you wet your, your brush with water, but then you want to take a bunch of the water off and then you start rubbing at it. Then as you remove the paint, I dab the remainder onto a cloth and then go again because if you if you put too much water down, then um, then you just have to pull all that water up. Um, but if you if you don't clean your brush in between, then you're essentially just kind of smudging the paint around rather than removing the paint and then going with another sort of clean part of your brush onto it, and it'll it'll go a little bit faster. So the colors that I'm using here are colors that are typically very staining. So you won't be able to get back to say I take a pure white on these. Uh, the brands are um, not as significant as the um, the the coloration, the, the the pigments. So if this is something that's new to you, I suggest that you try it on a scrap piece. I'm using an Arches 140 pound paper. So the the kind and quality of your paper will change the effect of this. This color here, these next two colors are no notoriously staining. This is Michael Harding Quinacridone Coral. It is very, very staining and it's actually quite hard to lift. Doesn't mean you can't, you just have to work at it a little bit more which means you might not get as pinpoint accuracy with it. And then this is core nickel azo yellow, which is again, very, very staining. If you happen to, oh, my laundry's going. Um, if you happen to dribble a little bit, right? So this one, I, if you pick up the paint, you can paint with it. Um, but if you happen to dribble a little bit, you can try this first, depending on how staining the paint is, before you use a magic eraser. You can, uh, you can try to lift the paint this way, but if it's a very staining color, like especially like this one, then the chance of you getting back to white is pretty low. But I've found like the magic erasers work, but they really chew up the surface of the paint of the paper. The magic erasers are actually akin to like an MDF wood product. They actually have like little sharp little shards in them, which is why they're they can sometimes like pull off your uh, wall paint completely. So they can work, but they're not necessarily your friend. Yeah, so I found, uh, now that I've learned this technique, I found that it's very, very useful to kind of add that highlight in. I uh, encourage you to give it a try and uh, see how it works for you.